Hello, welcome to a very exciting creature tutorial. This is a tutorial about the new creature Godot engine plugin. Okay, so creature now supports the Godot engine and I'm going to walk you through how to use the plugin. Now we're going to use this Utah Raptor sample for the demonstration of this plugin. It's uh, you can grab this sample. I'm sure all of you know this very famous sample directly from the creature samples page. All right. And it's kind of cool because it demonstrates a lot of things going on uh, using Creature. This animation is constructed using a combination of rotate cycle motors, band physics motors for the tail, so you get all the dynamics motion, the flash band physics, and for the automated running, it's using a, I believe a, yeah, IK rotate motor to do the automated walk cycle or run cycle. All right. So we're going to use the sample and all right. So first thing you want to do is you want to go in and export your animation based on what version you have into a JSON file. Okay. And then you can also zip it up for compression and to save space. All right. Okay. So once you're done with that, once you have the project all, all, all exported out from creature, let's go into Godot engine. Now, before I begin, let's talk about the creature plugin for Godot engine. You can grab it from this GitHub page over here. Okay, it's all checked in. And the most important thing you need to know is you need to build or compile the Godot Engine pl plugin, the Creature Godot Engine plugin with Godot itself. Now, it's not really that daunting or difficult, to be honest. You just go and take a look at how to build Godot Engine. It's really not that difficult. Um, go into the instructions over here. Look, at, look up the instructions for your particular platform. Okay, and once you have the Godot Engine source checked out, what you do is you drop in the Creature Godot directory or folder into the modules folder of Godot Engine. And what I mean by that is when you look at the Creature Godot plugin page, there is a folder called Creature Godot, right? Just take this folder over here and drop it into the modules folder of your Godot GitHub directory, the one you checked out from GitHub. That's all it is. Okay, just drop it in there. It's literally, literally a one one time drag and drop operation. See, it says put here and then build Godot engine using as cons or whatever your platform requires. That's all. That's all it is. It's a one time thing. And it's actually really simple. It's just a sim simple drag and drop into the right folder. Okay, so you build it through and we can now start using the creature Godot object. Okay, so it's all documented on the GitHub page, but let me demonstrate. Okay, so now we are in Godot, and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new node, and I'm going to search for creature. I'm going to see creature Godot. This means that the creature Godot plugin was successfully built, compiled, and installed for Godot. Godot right? So double click and create that plugin. That, that object, sorry. And okay, let's size him and move him onto the screen. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to assign a texture. So the texture should also live, when you export the Utah Raptor project for game engines, you should have two files, right? The JSON file and the image texture file. So both of those files should live within your projects, your Godot op projects root folder. So let's load the character texture, okay? And then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to put in the name of the asset. That's essentially the name of the file, the Utah Raptor file, right? Into the asset file name. And then I'm going to add res colon slash slash in front to indicate it's a resource and it should be loaded from the resource folder or the root folder of your project directory. So press enter. And let's see, did I mess this up? Oh, I did. I added extra A. Sorry about that. Okay, there you go. So now the character has been loaded, right? And I can size him appropriately. Okay. All right. Let's put him on screen. Maybe make him a bit larger. So let's see. Okay. So there you go and we can play the project. Let's play this again. And okay, so there you go. Oops, looks like the Raptor isn't running. Why is that? Well, 
That's because we haven't assigned a script to it. Remember, we just loaded the character, but nothing's working, right? So we need to assign a script. I already have a script for you. And what we can do is we can create a new, let's load a current script, and I can show you what the script does. So if you go into script, so I, the script says extends creature Godot, extends the creature Godot class, okay? And then in the ready function, that's the initialization phase of this object, we set process to true. This will actually set the callback tick, or rather the update call uh, to be active. This means that when the creature of Godot object, this raptor, is, is in the game, the, the process callback, this guy over here, will be called at each time step. And this will allow, allow us to basically update the animation. So when we do that, this call becomes active, right? This func process call. And with this call being active, we go ahead and we call update animation with the delta time step. This will basically play the animation forwards by a delta time step. So essentially plays the animation forwards and essentially plays the animation. <laughs> so let's give this a go and play it and see what we, do, what we get. And there you go. We have a raptor running, a Utah raptor exported from the creature animation tool with mesh deformation, bones, and all that. Really cool playing directly in Godot Engine. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's actually really simple. There's a lot more functions available. You can switch animations. You can blend them smoothly. You can change the speed and all that. So please go onto the GitHub page and have a look at the documentation to see the, the extra features you can, you can use with this plugin. Thanks for watching.